Robot C is a text-based programming language based on the standard C programming language. Commands to the robot are written as text on the screen, processed by the Robot C compiler into the machine language file, and then loaded onto the robot where they can be run. Text written as part of the program is called code. You can type code just like normal text, but you must keep in mind that capitalization is important to the computer. Replacing a lowercase letter with a capital letter, or a capital letter with a lowercase, will cause the robot to become confused. Note that as you type, Robot C will try to help you out by coloring words it recognizes. If a word highlights in a different color, it means Robot C knows it as an important word in the programming language. And now, we will look at some of the important parts of the program code itself. The most basic kind of statement in Robot C simply gives a command to the robot. This statement inside the sample program you downloaded is a simple command. It instructs the motor plugged into port 3 to turn on at full power. The next piece of code, wait one msec 3000 is also a simple command statement. It directs the robot to wait for 3000 milliseconds. Statements are run in order as quickly as the robot is able to reach them. Running this program on the robot turns the motor on, then waits for 3000 milliseconds, 3 seconds, with the motor still running, and then ends. The first statement ran, then the second, and when the second one ran, the robot simply waited for three seconds with the motor still running. Three seconds later, the program tried to go on to the next statement and found that there wasn't one, so the program ended. Now, let's look at the way the two statements were written. How did Robot C know that these were two separate commands anyway? Was it because they appeared on two different lines? No, spaces and line breaks in Robot C are only used to separate words from other multi-word commands. Spaces, tabs, and lines don't affect the way a program is interpreted by the machine. So why are they on separate lines? For the programmer. Remember that programming languages are designed for humans and machines to communicate. Using spaces, tabs, and lines helps the human programmer to read the code more easily. Making good use of spacing in your program is a very good habit for your own sake. But what about Robot C? How did it know where one statement ended and the other began? It knew because of the semicolon at the end of each line. Every statement ends with a semicolon. It's like the period at the end of a sentence. End of statement 1, end of statement 2. So, to review, statements are commands to the robot. Each statement ends in a semicolon so that Robot C can identify it, but each is also written on its own line to make it easier for humans to read. Statements are run in reading order, left to right, top to bottom, and each statement is run as soon as the previous one is complete. When there are no more statements, the program will end.